Well, new data obtained by News Nation shows more than half of all fentanyl making its way into the U.S. is coming through Arizona. And that's just what's being seized. We're also getting a clearer picture of what happens when these deadly narcotics cross the southern border and start to make their way across the country. News Nation border correspondent Allie Bradley is live in Arizona. And Allie, these new figures are not only troubling, they're staggering. Yeah, Nick, you're exactly right. I mean, we're talking about more than half of the fentanyl that we're seeing in the entire country is coming through the southern border. It's coming through Arizona in one way, shape, or form. And we got some new statistics from the DEA that we were able to access. So we want to break those down for you. Just look at this chart here. As Nick said, very staggering statistics here where it shows Arizona is responsible for 51.4% of the fentanyl seizures. California, a close second here with 46.3%. Now, this one's interesting because because there was actually a shift that happened last summer where most of the drugs were coming in through San Diego. Now it is Arizona. So Texas, meanwhile, as you can see right there in New Mexico, barely registering there with only 1% of the drug seizures. And these numbers, what's interesting is they don't include every agency. So they're actually even higher because these just focus on the HIDA statistics from the DEA. And we are finally getting a better picture of just how much fentanyl is really making it into the interior of the country. This data here that we're looking at shows that more than 20 million pills were seized three and a half hours north of here in Maricopa County. That's where Phoenix is. So that means millions of pills made it past multiple layers of enforcement. We're talking about the ports of entry, the checkpoints, different law enforcement agencies out on the highways. And this year is shaping up to surpass last year's record in fentanyl seizures. Get this, the port director in Nogales reporting more than 40 million pills seized at that port of entry alone this fiscal year. That's since October 1st. That is nearly doubling the 27 million pills seized in the county last year. Now, in a recent discovery, this one was shocking. Smugglers were actually attempting to hide pills in wood laminate, making it even more difficult for law enforcement on the front lines to detect. When it comes to the, uh, what's coming through the, the Tucson sector, which we're a part of, but we're only touching it. I, I can promise you we're only touching it. It means it's getting through us. There's no doubt. I mean, everybody talks about that. We're in a badge. It's getting through us because we have limited resources. Okay, so when it comes to what we've seen down here, a really big issue is these critical checkpoints down in Pima County and a few in Cochise County as well are closed. Those are the Border Patrol checkpoints that are off of the border a couple miles inland. Those are closed because of a lack of manpower. And the sector here in, in the Tucson sector is overwhelmed by foot traffic. And they're actually asking other sectors for help. In California, meantime, our neighbor here, Border Patrol arresting seven people tied to drug trafficking. Agents making a vehicle stop. They seized more than $46,000 off of two U.S. citizens and five non-citizens from Mexico. The agency says the bulk cash, it's suspected proceeds of unlawful narcotics activity. Now, when it comes to fentanyl trafficking offenses, Nick, when we look at the last two years, we've seen an increase of 116% in those convictions there. And Allie, two things you said in your report that just really just struck me. One, you talked about how most of it now is coming through Arizona, and that's only what we're catching, and that San Diego used to, or California used to be the other hot spot. That doesn't mean that it's not still coming through there as well. Yeah, you're exactly right. You saw that, the, the bar graph there, and it's just light, slightly slower than what we're seeing in Arizona. So we're seeing a bulk of it coming in through two different states, right? We're seeing millions of pills coming through those two states and, and San Diego is still being hit hard. And we know that sector is also without uh, the manpower that they need to adequately patrol the border as well, Nick. And we stand in front of this wall oftentimes because of all the cuts in the concertina wire. We see people jump this wall all the time, run off into the bushes and they're evading. We don't know what they have with them. They all have backpacks though and law enforcement have found fentanyl in abandoned backpacks, Nick. News Nation correspondent at the border, Allie Bradley. Allie, thank you again for your report. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.